What is packing with you, YouTube? KHTV back with another video. <coughs> in this channel, we talk about the greatest football team in sports history, the Green Bay Packers facing off against the Baltimore Ravens. I'm not sure if uh, Lamar Jackson is playing today, but Hundley, the backup quarterback, he do the same thing as Lamar Jackson does. Um, so we're going to have to deal with a quarterback that likes to run around. And um, I'm curious to see how this Green Bay Packer defense is going to step up and handle that situation. Um, I do believe the Green Bay Packers are going to win this game. Um, you know, the Baltimore Ravens are really, really banged up this year. Um, all across the board to the running backs, quarterback, defensive backs. They just, you know, this wasn't a good year for them as far as injuries. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this game plays out, especially on the defensive side of the ball and the offensive side of the ball. Uh, but I think we could get the job done um, on the road. The, the uh, Packers are – what do I do with them keys? The Packers are uh, – Four and two all time against the Ravens. Aaron Rodgers is two and one all time against the Ravens. Um, I'm expecting him to pick up his third win against the Ravens, Baltimore Ravens. Um, uh, love to see what the backfield can do. I'm pretty sure this is probably going. This game is going to be controlled by the run. Uh, Matt Lafleur has been running the ball real well with our dual threat running backs. I love that. I'm expecting Devontae to have close to 100 yards receiving this game, maybe a touchdown. Um, can't wait to see what Aaron Rodgers is going to do with, you know, on his broken foot. He didn't practice at all this week, but he was at practice. So that counts, you know, that means a lot too. Um, just to make sure that the team is going to be well prepared to go on the road and win this game. And then next week, we have a Christmas game. Um, against the Browns, and I think that's at home. I think we got two more home games and two road games, and then, yeah, we finish off the season against the, uh, I think the Lions. I think we played the Lions our last game of the season. And who knows, if we wrap up the number one seed, will we even, you know, start anybody uh, in that game? I don't think we'll, I don't think Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, or any of our starters are going to start in that game if we wrap up the number one seed. Um, so it's a lot of football left starting to come down to the wire all these teams are trying to shuffle their way into the playoff run um which i think the nfl did a good job with the 17 game season it puts a lot of pressure and it builds up the momentum of the season going into the playoffs you know what i'm saying you got a lot of teams that can make it in if certain teams lose and um, other certain teams win that put this team out. It's going to be a lot of that going on in the last week of the NFL season. A lot of teams are going to be losing to put other teams in, and teams are going to be winning to put other teams out. So it's going to be a very, very interesting um, next couple of weeks of the NFL to see how this whole uh, narrative and st all these storylines play out, especially with you know uh, the bullshit floating around in the league, uh, not letting certain players that could, that the team could benefit from the play. I'm just happy that the Green Bay Packers didn't run into any of that this this last weekend and this coming week because it was a lot of teams, man. I mean, the Browns, the games being postponed um, from the bullshit situation that's floating around out here um, that we have to maneuver through, fin you know, finesse our way through. So, for all of you that are finessing your way and moving your way through the bullshit, I congratulate and salute you. Salute to y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I just hope that this game is a good game and that we get out of this game injury-free. Injury-free. That is the, the key to the next four, these next four games. Winning injury-free. <laughs> I want this team to go into the playoffs healthy as they possibly can be because we know these Green Bay Packer teams have always been banged up going in deep into the playoffs. We always wind up having like the most significant injuries that always uh, alter the game plan that we're trying to run with when we get, you know, to the final leg of the season to try to get to a Super Bowl. So, um, yeah, man, to all of the pack addicts out there, uh, just before I end this video, 
Let me talk about the Lakers, man. Anthony Davis is probably the softest player in NBA history. I mean, I don't understand this guy. But like always, this is a narrative. I think the injury is fake. Just the way he went down, it looked like a terrible acting job. None of the teammates come over to Anthony Davis while he on the ground thriving in pain and trying to make the acting face. Ah, ah, my knee. I'm like, bro, that dude didn't even run into your leg that hard. He didn't run into your leg that hard. You know, this dude is just uh, soft as fucking cotton, man. God damn. So he's out for four weeks, which is perfect timing for the Lakers to come back and go on a play-in run. I'm not going to say a playoff run. I think they're going to wind up being in the play-in, uh, barely making it in, and then I think that's when the shift will take place once they get into the playoffs because it don't even look like the Lakers really want to play basketball. They came into that game against the Timberwolves with no energy. I'm like, what kind of team is this? And then all of a sudden, the inevitable happens, and they get blown out after Anthony Davis uh, gets hurt, get injured twice in the same game. First an ankle, then a knee. Go figure. But anyway, man, enjoy your Sunday. Enjoy the holiday. Stay safe out there. Call your loved ones if you haven't called them in a long time. Tell them that you're thinking about them. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of families out there going through it. Um, and be safe. And remember, always go pack Go.